guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Going to break down this awesome uh, Audio Slave song, Cochise. Also, thanks for supporting Marty Music. You know, I really appreciate you clicking that bell to be notified when I make new videos. It really helps my channel out. So thank you for doing that. Let's break it down. All right, so that beginning is using some kind of crazy delay. You can imitate it by doing the thumb and pinky. So you got that, mess with that. And he's definitely still got uh, some oscillating effects going on uh, for the noise intro, but you can start with an E power chord. So live, he kind of does this little octave climb up, which would be 7th fret A, 9th fret G. You can get the low E in there ringing out, like droning with it. So he's going 7, up a whole step to 9. And 10, and 12, and then that E octave all the way up here, which, what is it, 15, 17, 19, and 21, into the riff. And that could have effects, you know, a little bit of delay going on there, let's see. You know, weird stuff. All right, now the main riff, which is one of my favorite um, Tom Morello riffs. I'm using my pink index and pinky finger because I can stretch out a little easier for my hands, but you can use your index and ring finger if that's more comfortable. The first note of the riff we can think of as seventh fret, the E note on that A string, but we're gonna hammer up to it from the fifth fret, like that. Then the fifth fret A, then seven of the E, so like that. Then we're gonna go back to the five on the A, like that. And then the next move is seven on the E to three on the E to open E. So. And so that's why I use my pinky is that I can actually almost, you know, get it where they're touching at the same time, whereas my ring finger doesn't really do that. Now the second half of that lick is uh, almost identical, but a few notes are taken out. So you go like this. Here's the first one again. So there's no repeating parts on the second one. So it's just hammering up to the seven from the five on the A, then five, then seven, then three, then open. There's no going back. So you put them together really slow. So, uh, so far we have the, then we got an open power chord, we have some kind of delay, 
AC delay, that'll help. And we got an octave thing. So the next move we have to do is a D power chord, D sharp power chord, build up into the next riff. Like that. And so what you're doing is you're doing this uh, like dark fourth below it. So think of it this way, a D power chord. So five on the A, seven on the D, but then add the five on the low E. And then you just go up a half step. So check it out from the riff before. Now the chorus riff it does two hammer-ons from five to seven on the A string. Then you gotta hop over to the fifth fret of the E and go five, three, zero. Then you go, Three, three, five, five. And then you go up to the seven on the low E and it goes back to the riff again. Check it out. oscillating effects again and a wah pedal which I have to go uh, I don't have my wah pedal with me he does a kind of a classic Hendrix kind of thing he's bending that second fret of the G <laughs> second fret G bend up with crazy noise and and uh, attitude then he just kind of goes up the octave to the 14 of the G <laughs> That's one little weird thing he does. Uh, you got the two main two main riffs. Other riff. So the bridge, it's a B power chord. You can add, you could do second fret, fourth fret. And add that lower string, the second fret E string with that. And he's using some wah, wah pedal again on that. Then it goes to the E power chord. alternating with some low E's in there. And then finally, it does a whole step down where he's screaming. Then just the riff by itself.
Bear was. Thanks again, you guys. Really appreciate you supporting, watching the video. You can request songs that you'd like to, uh, like to see me teach in the comments below. While you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe right here to Marty Music. Thanks again, and I hope to see you real soon.